Hello, this is Brory, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as the now kingdom again of Brittany. Uh, we tried being a republic, completely destabilized our entire, you know, uh, country or whatever. And uh, truthfully, we would be in a much better place if I had never tried that. But I wasn't. I was not thinking that uh, the re the cost to come back from stability while your republic would be so bad. I was like, okay, we got enough points. We can go Republic. It's going to drop us down five stability. We should be able to come back pretty quickly from that. But no, the uh, the stability cost was like almost triple, I think, in some ways. So it was just, it, it was at a bad time. And, uh, you know, that's okay. You live and learn, you learn. So next time I will know not to, not to click a Republic button. Um, but that's definitely the cause of most of our troubles right now. I mean, obviously, we're still at war with England and stuff like that, which it is what it is. But most of our, like, financial issues and... And stability issues and stuff like that come from from that type of thing so no big deal can we catch you guys probably not oh, we did catch you good still at war with england here trying to get something figured out where are you going you're going to Antilles current so if i split you split you guys in half can i send half to Antilles current I have to have to hear. That's exactly what I wanted. Catch him. My massive fleet of heavies. He lost 19 heavies, 33 uh, lights. We captured 12 ships. Whew. Craziness. Prove our prestige. Oh, I didn't even, wasn't even paying attention that we had that. Um, come back over here and start trying to repair up, guys. Even though we're kind of short on sailors at the moment. Um, I guess we'll take another mission. Protect against British and Mexico. Uh, we just need an army higher, larger than 69. We could, we could probably do that. Sure, whatever. Um, will you piece this out now? Gotta be close, pretty close. More unrest and issues and things, but that's all right. Again, these are gonna start taking back some of the land that England's got and things like that, and they're gonna deal with them. Really, these over here are the only ones that are really that much trouble. You guys coming on repairs? Um, we detach repair damage ships. That gives us how many? Eighty-eight. Uh, we'll leave the lights in there for the moment. You guys are locked to the Mona Passage. Can we catch you? Uh, stop for. No, no, just keep going. I guess we're locked. Ban the Repub or the publications. Um, sure. Only because I didn't want more unrest right now. All right, good stuff. Caught that one again. Still just not quite there though. Three points away. Can get something else somewhere. Although the more of our land he gets, the uh, easier it is for him in the grand scheme of things. All right, you guys are completely repaired up. Uh, actually, let's do this. Let's grab you guys. Come over here. Um, let's grab you guys, come up to there. Let's grab you guys, come up to there. Let's get all the light ships together. You guys are all transports, yes, that's fine. All right, everybody here is basically good to go. Really, France? Really? What are you going to do? Try and take our European holdings that we've got a, got by default and haven't really done anything with? There's some uh, sailor issues. That's all right. Let's go ahead and start protecting trade. 
See if we can get a little bit of stop with a little bit of the flow of money going out. Again, we're gonna get we're almost at the end of the game. These loans really don't matter. And there's the end of the game. Um well that was a short episode. I'm gonna probably attack this on the end of the last episode. Truth be told though, um yeah, I don't know. Not not too bad in the grand scheme of things. Probably the score probably wasn't that great, uh, to be perfectly honest. We did finally get up to a great power, which is, you know, awesome. Um, I don't know what this historical scores means necessarily. Um, would have liked to have done better with the ideas and things like that. We really just kind of started letting things fall apart a little bit towards the end. We had the 28th largest army. We had the largest navy, which you know, I'm quite proud of the fact that we had the largest navy. Truth be told, I'm pretty proud of this entire game. And the reason for that is because we got kicked out of France. And all we had left was a colony. We had just started getting a colony right was it there. I think it was this one or one of these two over here. Um, and... Because we got kicked out, we basically lost all of our territory in France. And our colony then became our capital. So it basically automatically finished the, co the colony and gave it to us as a capital. Which was, it was nothing. That's all we had. That one province was all we had. And from that one province, you know, sure, you know, half our land is being destroyed right now because our army is just terrible on the side of, uh, you know, it's just not very, very good morale, not very good discipline, things like that. But from that one little island... We're able to take out the basically we have all the Caribbean, much of, you know, you know, Colombians, things like that. Uh, a lot of the Central America, a little bit of Florida and um, the largest Navy in the world, just unstoppable Navy. So it's uh, pretty awesome. I think considering what we started at pretty awesome, uh, pretty happy with this game overall. A uh, lot, a lot of fun. I mean, again, towards the end here, the last couple episodes probably were just some throw away decisions because it's just like what doesn't matter there's no consequences of taking out a thousand loans or anything like that so it was just it was what it is and again going for the republic was uh not necessarily the um the best idea to be fair but um yeah seven wars ended in a disgraceful defeat 39 of wars ended in glorious victory longest river ruler was henry the second each year we about 3,343 3, enemy combatants fell to our fire and steel. But we also lost 2,895. So we lost a lot of ships. Each year, about three enemy ships fell to our broadsides. We lost zero, effectively. Uh, we wiped four nations off the face of the earth. That's kind of cool. Our great nation annexed 76 provinces. 23 provinces were unjustly stolen from us. Okay, fair enough. 76 military leaders served us through the history. Legends among us... Oh, yeah, we had this amazing, um, amazing, uh, was this um, at the Admiral or is this the General? We had amazing, I think we had both, one of each, to be perfectly honest. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Catholic, Grandest Province was wet there towards the end, uh, probably about, I don't know, maybe 100 years ago within the game or so. We, uh, we bumped up our capital to 50 development, which is kind of cool. And we did have a disaster there at the end. Western, Catholic. I don't know. It was a lot of fun, like I said. You know what? I mean, we're almost at 10 minutes. I'm probably going to just let this episode go live for itself. Uh, a little bit of a short episode, but that's all right. Um, what I will do real quick is, I think, I'm going to quit that. I'm going to go ahead and let that go for a second. You're going to see a black screen. I'm just going to talk through for just a second. As soon as I get my mouse back. Oh, it's trying to load up the EU4 um, home screen. Come on. I was going to go look at uh, look at something real quick. Come on. I think it'd still be good to add on to the end of this game. Because the whole point of this game is to move into the next game. And uh, continue our... We started Crusader Kings with Brittany. And that game was a lot of fun. Uh, got kicked out of France on that game too. And immediately, you know, eventually came back to France. Maybe that's what we should have done here is gone back to France. But I was having a lot of fun in the um, Caribbean area. That was a lot of fun building up the navies and doing a lot of stuff with that. Um, what did I want to do? I wanted to come down here. I know you can't see what I'm doing at the moment, but uh, bear with me just a moment. 
Where is the... Got my game. There it is. Let's load up this game. Because the whole point, again, was to go into the next the next game. And I don't know if it's going to load up automatically. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll, I'll tag it in. It's a bit loud. I apologize for that. Come on, game. All right, the game's being difficult for a second. I'm trying to load up Victoria 2. And I want to see if, um, kind of just decide which country I'm going to play as next. Because, we, I th you know, I haven't really looked at the countries available. And the whole point was, we were going to try and play as, you know, whatever our story continued as. And right now our story is in the Caribbean. So what kind of countries can you play in, in, uh, in the Victoria 2 in the Caribbean? I actually don't know. I'm actually going to add... I can add this in real quick. Come on. Okay, apologies for the black screen. I probably what I'll do. Well, I don't know. I've been doing a lot of talking as well. So they probably what I'll do is just go over it. But is it still, oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna go single player. And really, I'm just gonna look at the, the countries real quick. What do we have over here? We got Haiti, which is technically where we ended up. I cannot imagine that's going to be an easy game to play. Because this is not one of the great nations. Because um, this one's like, look at that, Prestige 7, Industry 3, Military 21. Haiti, 38, 89, and 89. There's no way. It's funny, though. It's a presidential dictatorship, Was it? which is actually, up until the very end, when our people made us go to a kingdom... It was, we were actually momentarily there, a Republican dictatorship, you know, which I guess is about as pretty close to a presidential dictatorship. Uh, we come over here to, to oh, that's Spanish Cuba, that's Spain. That would be Spain as well. I mean, we could play as Spain. We could also play as Colombia, Venezuela. I mean, Haiti, I don't know. Is it worth trying to play this game that I haven't really played before as a nation that uh, is this puny? <laughs> I don't know. We might try it. But anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and cut it there. Uh, sorry, there was a lot of black screen there. But like I said, I was trying to trying to load this up just to see what we had available to us. Oh, I came over here place Texas. Um, but I know we'll, we, might, we might mess around with this a little bit. Uh, we're definitely going to play Victoria 2 next. It's just a matter of, excuse me, sorry about that. A matter of which country we play as. Well, anyway, I do appreciate you watching um, the end of our, CK, or our EU4 playthrough. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.